Hello and welcome. My name is Patricia Alves Oliveira, and I will be talking about robot-based interventions for children's creativity. I want you to imagine a child seated in a traditional classroom. Would you say it looks similar to this? Maybe you would imagine all the same with the exception of the computer not being present. But the fact is that the classrooms of today have changed according to the new goals and tools for learning. Digital competence, a skill highly related with STEM activities and robotics, was elected as one of the eight basic competencies for lifelong learning, along with numeric and literacy skills. Digital competence is defined as an awareness and capacity of people to properly use digital tools to identify, access, integrate, manage, or evaluate digital resources. It's a competence that has been therefore included in the school curriculum of many countries. It has been integrated in the classroom in many forms, from programming learning environments such as Kratz to robots. These tools are important for learning as children can learn concepts about curricular topics such as mathematics or geometry through the use of these tools. For example, by programming a robot to perform 90 degree angles four times, a children can better understand the formation of a square and start understanding the connection between geometry and squared objects and even houses. There are several benefits for using robots for learning. For example, children can learn about curricular topics that are usually abstract in a more tangible way. They promote motivation in children for learning, as most of these tools have playful components and children become active builders of their own learning. And also because these activities are usually performed in groups and they can train into personal skills. However, little is known about the effects of STEM education and robotics on children's creativity. It is important to investigate if creativity levels are influenced by these activities, as creativity is one of the most desired skills of today's world that is usually not encouraged in traditional classroom activities, where standardized knowledge is usually preferred. To investigate this, we conducted a study with three experimental conditions. In the first experimental condition, children learn how to program robots. They use the Scrat language to give commands to the robots, which are called dash and dot, the ones that you can see in the image. Children worked in small groups of three to four and were instructed to program a mail delivery robot. This task consisted of writing lines of code to make the robot go from point A to point B, which were predefined locations of the classroom floor. By working in groups, they used the iPads to program the robot and improve their programming as they observed the performance of the robot. This is considered a typical STEM task included in schools. Children included in the second experimental condition were instructed to think about different personalities for the robot without needing to program the robot. Children produced movements for the robot using a low-fidelity robot prototype in the form of a cube. They worked in small groups of three to four and were responsible for producing the movement for each personality trait of the robot together. Children included in the control condition took a music class where they were invited to learn a new song and sing it. They also played instruments. The control the condition for this study consisted of a creative activity to provide a fair baseline to the other two experimental conditions. In this study, 140 children were involved across the three study conditions. We used the test for creative thinking drawing production to measure creativity at pre and post test levels using forms A and B of the same test. So the main question we want to answer is if creativity in children increased when performing robotic activities. Our results showed an increase from pre-test to post-test in all study conditions. This result indicated a positive effect of interventions on nurturing creativity levels of children. Results also showed that creativity increased more in the program condition compared to the design condition. So our study seems to show that STEM activities with robots have the potential to stimulate creativity in children. This means that STEM activities with robots can have benefits in different cognitive abilities of children that go beyond learning about curricular topics and go as far as nurture their creative thought. Check out our paper for more exciting results as we analyze creativity in different dimensions. Thank you so much for listening.